This video describes the classification, etiology, and clinical manifestations of urinary tract infections. UTIs can be divided into upper and lower infections. Pyelonephritis is an upper UTI that affects the kidneys. Cystitis, urethritis, and prostatitis are considered lower UTIs. UTIs may be further classified as complicated and uncomplicated. Examples of uncomplicated UTIs might include a lower UTI that occurs in a non-pregnant, healthy premenopausal female, or an upper UTI like pyelonephritis affecting the kidney in a young non-diabetic male. In contrast, complicated UTIs occur in the presence of certain risk factors like diabetes, BPH, pregnancy, or menopause. Uropathogens include E. coli, which is the most common. Other UTI-causing gram-negatives include Enterobacter species like Klebsiella and Proteus, as well as Pseudomonas aeruginosa. UTI-causing gram-positives include Enterococcus faecalis, Staphylococcus aureus, and Staphylococcus saprophyticus, which is the second most common bacterial cause of UTIs in otherwise healthy young women. Fungal UTIs caused by Candida species most commonly occur in hospitalized patients with indwelling catheters. Typical symptoms with acute cystitis include dysuria, urinary frequency and urgency, suprapubic pain, and hematuria. Common symptoms with pyelonephritis include fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, flank pain, and costal vertebral angle tenderness. With pyelonephritis, symptoms of cystitis are often but not universally present. The constellation of signs and symptoms tend to vary for each patient population. For older men, their spectrum of UTI presentation includes pelvic and perineal pain, suggesting cystitis that is likely attributed to prostatitis or BPH. By contrast, individuals with neurogenic bladder might present with urinary incontinence. And please remember that debilitated or elderly often present with generalized nonspecific symptoms that might suggest an infection such as fever and chills, but without clear manifestations that raise suspicion of an infection localized to the urinary tract. Now for questions. Pause the video and think of your answers. If you answered the following, you are correct. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.